Number 14 from the Unit 6 Review for Algebra 4 Honors. I'm going to start by finding a common denominator. So this is already x plus 2. I have a 1. I'm going to factor this trinomial into x plus 2 and x minus, oh, and x plus 3. So this fraction is missing an x plus 3. Both has an x plus 3 and x minus 2. And this is missing an x plus 2 and an x plus 3. Wipe out the denominators. I have 7 times x plus 3 plus 3x minus 4 and 9 times. Well, I already know that x plus 2 times x plus 3 is equivalent to this trinomial. Or you could take time to foil out x plus 2 and x plus 3 and combine like terms and you'd still end up with the same trinomial. I'm going to distribute. And now I'm going to combine like terms by moving everything to the same side as the x squared. When all of this moves over to the right, there will be nothing left on the left-hand side. So this is a, right now a positive 10x. When positive 10x moves over, it will be a negative 10x. And this is currently a positive 17. When positive 17 moves over, it will be a negative 17. So we have 9x squared plus 35x, and let's see, so I have 54, 44, 34, plus 37. All right, so I'm going to give you a chance to use, this is not factorable, so use the quadratic formula to solve. If you've not done so, you do need to memorize the quadratic formula. A, B, and C. So B is 35. A is 9. C is 37. Okay, I'm going to use the calculator to do this portion. All right, parentheses 35 squared, subtract 4 times 9 times 37. That's going to be the number that's inside of the radical. Negative 107, we can't have a negative, so we're going to pull that negative out, and it becomes an I. And 107 cannot be broken down using a perfect square, which means this is our final answer.